What's up, fam? Welcome to a Whispers of Love Oracle reading. Pick a pile. These messages, these oracle messages that I have in front of you, these could be love in a great sense, multiple senses, right? This could be love, the love that you give to yourself. This could be the love that you give to your friends, to your family, to your community. And then, of course, these could be love messages for you and a significant other. Maybe somebody that you're in contact with. Maybe somebody that you're not in contact with. Could be your spouse. Could be your partner. There's broad, this is a collective reading, so there's going to be a lot of broad messages here for you. And we have three different piles that you can choose from. Pile number one, we have listen with your heart. You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. Okay. And that comes paired with this beautiful clear quartz. We also have for pile number two, we have physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. That comes paired with this beautiful bloodstone. And pile number three, like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. And that comes paired with rose quartz. So what I encourage you to do is to connect with your intuition, take you know, maybe some deep mindful breaths. Feel free to pause the video if you need some extra time, maybe grab some water, chill out, vibe out, connect with your intuition, and go for the card that you feel most called to, the pile that you feel most called to for more of these uh, love messages. A uh, reminder that this is a collective reading, so not every single message may resonate with you. It also is broadly love, so you can apply it to multiple avenues in your life. As always, if you like these uh, videos and you want to see more of them, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in a private reading, I do do those. You can find more information in the video description. My website is thatoracleguy.com. It's the only way you can book readings, so don't get fooled out there. All right, whenever you're ready, I've included the timestamps down below for your convenience, and I'll see you at your reading. All right, pile number one, welcome to your reading. You selected listen with your heart. You are listening, but you need to hear with a loving heart. That came paired with this beautiful quartz. So let's get into your whispers of love messages. Right away, what this is telling me is that you need to listen to your heart. What is your heart telling you to do? This could also be connected to your intuition in certain ways. This is encouraging you in the future with conversations that you have with yourself or conversations that you have with loved ones in any capacity to be loving and empathetic about it. Come from a place of understanding. Come from a place of empathy. Everybody has their ups and downs, you know? Lead more with that loving, empathetic, open heart of yours. Listen really intentionally. Intentionally, You might be feeling called to have a deep conversation with somebody. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show that you care. There could be somebody in your life that really needs you right now. Needs your advice, needs your guidance, needs you to lend an ear for them. This could also be something that you do for yourself, but it could be, you know, a loved one. It could be your partner. Be supportive to that energy. Give. Give freely of your time, your energy, your mental capacity, your heart. The more you let love flow, the more it comes back to you. Whoever it is in this situation that needs you, they're really going to appreciate what you have to offer them. Okay. You also got relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. You may have been in positions before where you sort of shut down a little bit. Maybe some of the things that people have told you in the past have hurt your feelings. 
takes strength to recognize the need to change that. So try to be adaptable. Try to, try to uh, send out the love that you would love to receive from other people. Be the change you want to be, you see in the world. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. If someone needs to talk to you, if there's a deep conversation that needs to happen right now, be supportive, be patient, work through it. You have all of the tools. Listen to what your heart is saying. Be loving. Be compassionate. Compassion, love, you know, these are things you give to other people, but these are also things that you give to yourself, file number one. This will bring you more joy. Love is an abundance frequency. And be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. That's exactly it. It's exactly it. Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. You're really being called to be loving. Loving to yourself. Gentle with yourself. Or loving and gentle with, with other people. With someone who needs you right now. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Somebody might be struggling a little bit. Use this, use this, um, this opportunity, this energy to get down to the bottom of it. People are all having their internal battles. They're having their own private war. You know, there's a private world inside of all of us. Now is your time to lend your loving heart. Be supportive. Have patience. Listen. Express your love and get down to the nitty gritty. And you also have express love through gifts. Small token of love can convey great appreciation. So if there's this conversation, if there's someone particularly in mind, you know you should be having this conversation with, maybe you can kick it off by giving them a little present, something thoughtful. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be, you know, just something that says, hey, I was thinking about you. You wanna talk? And I'm telling you, you follow this and it's going to, it's gonna bring about some sort of closeness, deeper love, deeper connection, deeper closeness. All right, pile number one, that was your timeless whispers of love oracle reading. I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm always so curious. As always, like and subscribe if you feel called to do so. And this is a collective message. So, you know, some things might resonate, some things might not resonate. But if you're interested in a private reading, you can find my link within my, uh, you know, on my channel page, in my, in my uh, product uh, description, the video description. It's the only way that you can book is, you know, thatoracleguy.com. So if you feel called to, know that I'm here for you in that way. All right, pal number one, thank you very much for being here. Hope you're doing well and catch you at the next one. Talk to you later. Goodbye. All right, pal number two, you selected a physical touch as your whispers of love oracle card. Welcome to your reading. A tender touch can mean so much. That came paired with this beautiful bloodstone. And right away what this is saying to me is that small physical gestures can mean so much to somebody. If, if you have somebody in your life that you understand that physical touch is their love language, now could be a good time to reach for them. You know, hold their hands, lock pinkies. Pat on the back, just a hug. 
can be so significant for this person. This could also be related to yourself, you know? You can give yourself a, your own sort of touch. You can give a, yourself a little massage. You know, maybe do some uh, tapping exercises. That can be a good way for you to show um, yourself some self-love. But if there's somebody that you care about, somebody that you wanna get closer to, small little gestures, like holding their hand and giving them a hug. It's, it's big, it's big for them. So keep that in mind. Let's get some uh, additional messages for you from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. Oof, we've got a bunch of them. All right, so you got, additionally, you got simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So what I'm getting here is that whoever you're probably thinking of, family member, spouse, partner, someone that you're interested in, it's really about the little things here, you know? Little gestures, little touches, really just your, your kindness, thoughtfulness. They're not asking very much of you here. All they really want is your attention, your smile, maybe your positivity. You could be really a very kind person, a radiant person in that sort of way. You don't have to be grand romantic gestures. Like so much of love is just found in the small things, the simple things. If you're already with somebody, just know that these are things that they really value about you. They love how like simple and kind and um, familiar you feel to them. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So. Yeah, that's also what I'm saying is like, you know, tiny acts of kindness could also just be expressed through gifts. This is a different love. This is another love language right here. And really like, you know, it's not about the love language of gifting is not really about like, oh, you know, you you got me this expensive gift. Thank you so much. Really, it's about just saying, hey, like I was out and about. I was just kind of living my life doing whatever. And I, and I thought of you. I saw this thing and I thought of you. It's a very simple gesture, you know. It could be the tiniest little gift ever. But really what that's communicating is like, you know, in my day-to-day -day, as I'm going about my life, like I, I think about you and, and, and I want to show you. Take this little present. This could be another love language for them or a love language for you. Good thing to know about yourself. Fabulous way to kind of express love in a gentle, small way. You also got listen with your heart. You are listening, but you need to hear with a loving heart. This is just kind of encouraging you to be more open-hearted, to um, understand that people kind of have their ups and downs. Um, listen from a place of love, of, of openness, of understanding, of empathy. Somebody could be wanting to talk to you about something, but maybe a little afraid about what you would think. So kind of um, practice some sort of non-judgment in your loving relationships. This could be anyone with your friends, with your family. It could also be with somebody that you have a crush on. It could be with your spouse, your partner. Just, just practice that. That's a, that's a conscious practice, you know, to lead with love, to listen with love, to listen with your heart. That's, it's a lot of, that's a, that's a practice and it is a, a definitely a strength. Pile number two. So maybe you're being encouraged to amplify that because I know you already have it. Uh, additionally, you got ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. You're a very loving person. You might, you might give love very freely to other people, but um, you might be a little cautious asking other people for help, putting yourself in that sort of vulnerable position. I think what a good thing to do is remind yourself, like, would you, like, would you treat, like, if you, if your friend were to approach you or your loved one or your family member were to approach you asking for help, like, what would your reaction be? <laughs> you know? Like, would your reaction be like, would your reaction be like, oh, that's so, oh, awkward. <laughs> 
or like, oh, look at how vulnerable that is, gross. Like, no, you'd, you'd lean in lovingly, right? So this is just a reminder to you, like you deserve the same help from other people that you give to them and not to shy away from it, you know? Give people the opportunity to, to be there for you, to be there for you in the way that you would be there for them. Receive, receive that kind of love. You deserve it. Additionally, you got uh, back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. So if you've gone through a period of, you know, maybe kind of trying new things, or like if you're coming out of a period of sort of like hermit energy, maybe you've been a little bit more introverted lately, you know, maybe you're kind of, you've been sort of taking it easy, giving yourself a break, some rest. This is encouraging you to get back to the things that you love, right? So it might be helpful for you to kind of just write down like your interests, your hobbies, things that bring you joy, you know, write them down and list them out. And then maybe you can set like a little goal for yourself. You know, what's something, what's something that you can do and kind of kick off this week, today, that um, reminds you, that kind of in empowers you, excites you. Where, where do your desires lie? File number two. And how can you, how can you sort of curiously and playfully lean into them? These could be things that, you know, you used to love to do years ago. What's stopping you from doing them now? It's a good question to ask yourself. You also got spend quality time together, listen and talk to each other. Wow. Okay, you got three of the love languages here. You got gifts, quality time, and physical touch. So what I'm seeing is, you know, if there's another person, you really have a, an array of um, ways that you can show that you care. But this quality time is really reminding me also it's connected to this love, listen with your heart, you know? This could just be somebody who wants to listen to you speak, wants to, you know, have your attention, wants to talk to you about something that maybe has been on their mind or, you know, it could be anything, like just something that they're going through, like they, they, they need you right now. And maybe just carving out a little bit of time together would be all the healing that it needs to be. Small acts of kindness, right? Quality time is a small act. Can't see them in person. You know, maybe talk to each other on the phone. Maybe, you know, do a little Zoom call, video chat, FaceTime, something like that. It'll mean a lot. It'll mean a lot for this person. All right, let me pull one more for you. You also got honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Listen with your heart, but also be honest. Be loving. And be true to yourself. You don't want to compromise in any, you don't want to compromise your own heart, right? but you can be kind. All right, pal number two, this was your Whispers of Love Oracle reading. I hope that it resonated with you. If it did, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm always so curious. As always, um, you know, if you feel called to, you can give me a like, uh, you can subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. I try to produce one every day, at least. And as always, this is a collective message. So if there are some messages that didn't resonate with you, that's totally okay. You do not need to hold on to them. But if you're interested in a private reading, you can find information on that on my channel page. You can also find it in the video description. Um, I only have one website that I uh, book these through uh, and it's thatoracleguy.com. So just keep that in mind. That's the only way that you can book. All right, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and I'll catch you at the next one of these. All right, talk to you later, goodbye. All right, pile number three, you selected like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. And that comes paired with this beautiful rose quartz. So let's get into your whispers of love oracle reading. Right away, like a track like is telling me this is such a lesson like for yourself, for other people, like in the world in general, like like 
love is an abundant frequency. If you want more love, you have to be the change that you want to see in the world, right? This is encouraging you to be more open-hearted, love more freely, be more generous with your heart. Love is the answer, pile number three. And you can really shift whole energies, dynamics in a room with this loving attraction of yours. In the world, really, pile number three. You also got receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So this is also encouraging you to receive love as much as give love. Small gestures from people, you know. If you have loved ones, family members, friends that wants to, you know, compliment you, that wants to get closer to you, that, that honor you, that just want to share their love with you, let them, you know, you deserve it. Same way that you show love to other people, people want to show it to you, you know? It's beautiful. So practice appreciation for all of these wonderful relationships that you have. All of these fantastic dynamics that you have, you know? Maybe hug your hug a loved one today. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So this is also encouraging you to have patience with people. You know, everybody goes through their ups and downs. If there's like a sort of delay in a certain way that you're experiencing, lean back. Give love to people that you love. Receive love from other people. But just be patient about it too, you know? People will come to you. You keep, you keep spreading out this good vibe, people will come to you. If someone wants to talk to you about something, practice just kind of like listening. You know, no rush whatsoever. Lean into the conversation. Let them speak. And just know that it really matters. It really matters to this person right now. And be patient with, patient with yourself too. Forget that. Maybe relax a little bit today. Do something that, I'll, that makes you feel comfort. You also got practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. Yeah. You're being asked to be both patient and compassionate. So if you're going through a little bit of a rough patch with somebody, this could be for some people, but not for everybody. If you're going through a little bit of a rough patch with somebody, take it easy, slow down. You know, take some deep breaths, be mindful and practice that compassion, you know, everybody, Everybody has their whole, there's a whole world inside of all of us. Pile three, you know? People have their lightness, they have their shadows. Kind of try to identify with that. You know, times where you maybe haven't really felt like yourself as much. And practice that compassion. Because even through difficult moments, like this is, this it's, it's, it's such a practice to, show someone love and compassion for just what they're going through. You know, it might, it might not even really have anything to do with you. If you long for more love, be more loving. You know? Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show that you care. Oh, I'm really seeing that somebody is... Someone in your life here like needs you. They might be wanting to communicate something that's a little difficult. For, to, not necessarily because of the subject matter, but it might just like literally be difficult for them to like express themselves and be vulnerable. Show them that you care, small ways. Maybe you wanna be the one that initiates the conversation. That could be a little compassionate. But like, hey, I love you. I've been thinking about you. You okay? 
you know, something like that. Be supportive. But make an effort here. You can meet them in the middle. You can maybe meet them a little bit more in the middle if that's what you feel called to do. That is a compassionate gesture. All right, you also got focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. That cold dragon. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, focus on love. Really, really meditate on love right now. You know? How would you want to receive love? That's something for you to think about. What, what does love look like to you? How, do you? how would you like to receive it from other people? Allow that reception while at the same time allowing that to kind of shape the ways that you can show up for people, you can demonstrate your love. And keep it very at the, at the center of your mind right now, looking for the good in other people, giving them the benefit of the doubt. Especially if somebody is going through it and they need you. The union of hearts, a love connection defies explanation. This could be some sort of like soulmate energy. You could feel like there's somebody that really gets you or you really get them. Maybe there's also some um, lack of communication, a love connection that defies explanation, but also maybe there's like, maybe there's somebody here that really wants to say something to you, but they're worried, but you guys kind of have this sort of like telepathic connection with one another. This is also just saying like, There's, there could just be somebody that you feel like you have soulmate energy with. And to remember that even, even through maybe some difficult times, work through it, you know? Love is a battlefield sometimes. Gotta show up to it. Gotta keep on keeping on, you know? But uh, if, if you're not with somebody or if you're feeling a connection with somebody that's very strong, Lean into it. Receive it. Let's do one more. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Yes. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people that you care about. You don't have to, all of this love energy doesn't mean that you need to compromise who you are, what your values are. You can keep love in your truth, even in difficult times, even in tough conversations. It's just a gentle reminder for you here. You see, and that's confirmation. <laughs> All right, Paul, number three, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you very much. If some of these messages resonate with you, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I do um, love to hear from everybody. Uh, as always, if you liked it, feel free to give a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to um, follow me, subscribe. I'm trying to churn out a video like this at least once a day. Um, and as always, these are collective uh, readings. So if there's something that didn't resonate with you, you do not need to hold on to it, okay? You can just release it. It might've been for somebody else. But if you're interested in a private reading, that is some that has things that I do. So um, you can find more information about that in, on my channel page. Uh, I also linked my website in the video description. It is that Oracle guy. It is the only way that you're able to book um, private readings with me. So just something for you to keep in mind. All right, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys and I hope that you're doing well. Catch you at the next one of these. All right, talk to you later. Goodbye.